so I'm sitting here with my beautiful newly rebuilt big block Ford FE 390 and uh, today we're putting oil in it but it's not that simple so I thought I'd do a video pretty much just dedicated entirely to the topic of oil in an FE motor and pretty much most uh, plastic car or truck motors that you'll encounter. Uh, the main difference in this motor from a modern motor and the reason that you'd want different oil is because of the camshaft. The FE has what's called a flat tappet camshaft. Now if you already know what that means you can fast forward but if you don't, in a nutshell, when the cam comes into contact with the lifters on a flat tappet camshaft there's a lot more frictional forces at work. Uh, with the roller cam, which would be a modern, uh, it has less friction and it takes less horsepower to make power. Uh, so with a roller cam you can you can get a lot more performance out of it and, uh, and there's less friction, less breakdown. They do cost a lot more, that's because of the lifters being more expensive. So for an older engine like this, you're almost always going to have a flat tappet camshaft, which I do. Over the years, roller tappets have become the norm. One of the things that helped as an anti-wear uh, measure in older oil before the advent and commonplace use of roller tappets was that there was a high degree of zinc, zinc phosphate in oil, and that was an anti-wear additive that kept the friction between metal down and extended the life of flat tappet camshaft. As they got to roller, the big motor companies started working towards getting the zinc levels and oils pulled down because it didn't have the added benefit for roller as it did for a flat tappet. And that same zinc, when it got burnt up, tended to clog O2 sensors and uh, catalytic converters. So by getting that zinc out, which they didn't need for the anti-wear on the modern camshafts, uh, they actually helped not clog up sensors and catalytic converters. Uh, I don't have an O2 sensor or catalytic converter. I do have a flat tap of camshaft, so I need oil with zinc in it. <laughs> with a lot of zinc in it. So basically I need to find oil that has the levels of zinc that used to be uh, commonplace. Now you can get zinc additives and pour them into a modern oil. Uh, if that's your thing. Or you can find oils that already have the appropriate levels of zinc. So a lot of times you can find engine braking oil at a speed shop or a specialty auto parts store. Uh, like I used some braking oil to soak my uh, lifters. It was the royal purple stuff because that's all I could find the day that I was looking for it. And braking oil just has higher levels of zinc. Now for an older engine like this, it's really good to use a break-in oil or a break-in style oil with high levels of zinc phosphate for the entire life of the engine and not just for break-in. So uh, you have a lot of different options. If you have more money than cents, you could totally go for some kind of royal purple thing all the time or uh, the Joe Gibbs racing stuff. It's got the high levels of zinc. But uh, if you're like me and you don't have a whole lot of money, there are alternatives that you can get fairly cheap. A lot of the higher quality diesel engine oils have the same zinc qualities that you would have in older oil from back in the flat tappet era. What you're looking for if it's listed is a higher level of a ZDDP rating, which is just the zinc rating basically. Uh, racing oil does have the higher levels of zinc, but it's not really intended for daily street use. Probably use it, but it's going to be expensive. So some common alternatives are available. Some of it you can even get at Walmart. Today I got 8 quarts of my oil at Walmart for 20 $22, I think. So uh, if you're wanting to run a high zinc oil and not spend a lot of money, uh, I've got some recommendations for you, and then I'll tell you what I use. Quaker State has a Q Racing brand. Comes in a few different weights and it's good for it. Uh, Mobile Delvac 1300, it's a 15W40. Chevron Delo 400 has a 15W40. Uh, Castrol Tecton Extra, also a 15W40. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced all those right or not, but those are all high zinc. Usually, I think most of them are marketed as a diesel engine oil, but will work for your old flat tappet FE motor. But there's a final one that was on the list that I researched that uh, kind of struck a chord because my dad knew an old timer out in the sticks that used to build 2,000 horsepower truck pull engines and everything and it's the only thing he ever saw him run in his engines and he never knew why. But uh, once we started doing the research on these flat tappet camshafts and these high zinc oils and we saw that man's oil on the list, we decided to opt for that. So our lucky winner 
is Rotella T. It's a 15W40 and it's $12 at Walmart. It has uh, 1,400 parts per million of zinc. It's just an oil that we trusted from people with personal experiences and it was on the list of oils with the high zinc content. Any one of those oils should should do you better off than, than regular modern oil, but it's just something to consider for the life of your engine and for the performance of your flat tappet camshaft. Zinc oil. I'm Dr. Steve Brule. It's for your health.